All right, peoples, colleagues, comrades, and critters, it is time for Slarpy-G. Uh, and, and thank you for resubscribing this, No, I'm glad you are having a hoot and or enjoying the emotes. <laughs> and the gnomes. Yep, yep, definitely enjoying the gnomes. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Last we left off, we are no longer fighting with our girlfriend, so we now can smooch again. Um, there was an implication we can start heading for the final boss fight, or at least to fight the goddess. But there's side quests to do, and this is an RPG, so we gotta do the side quests. Plus, we did the one in the desert, and we got a sweet fucking upgrade for uh, Allison's sword. And Melody has a staff that can't be sold. So I think there's a side quest for me to do that will get that nice and tricked out. So we're going to go check out the town. Is this... Oh no, that's right, there's those boss fights. I will also take care of those right after I do some side quests. Get a few more levels and maybe that improved here. Because they were pretty hard. I think we have two left to do. The one here and the one on the beach. But uh, I hope uh, y'all are doing pretty well this fine Monday evening. Or whatever time it is for yawn selves. I should have fast traveled. Yep, yep. There we go. Wait, what a bit? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sure, I should get me close enough. <clears throat> As you can see, I've been playing a little too much Slurpg, starting to, starting to take over. <laughs> I'm palette shifting. It's infectious, but it feels so, so good. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way, actually. I'm pretty sure I came this way. And then I go down well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm I'm east. Okay. I'm east of where I thought it was. That is the other boss who handed us our lunch. He was not kind about it. We'll get him. Ooh, we will get him. Okay, so Melody got her staff in the big old tower that Faith works in. So let's check out that. We got a quest giver in here. Nope. I think it was her that gave it to us. Hey, Melody. Seems like you're in high spirits. I guess I am. Is that weird given the circumstances? Not at all. You've got a mission, a purpose. I feel the same way before lots of big jobs. I mean, it's normal to be nervous, too. I know I'd be nervous in your shoes. Not like I've ever done anything like facing the goddess of magic. But I know you've got what it takes for this melody. We'll all be rooting for you and here in Green Ridge. Thank you, Holly. Alright, so Holly doesn't have it for us. What about Rit? Or Chet? Hey, we didn't see you yesterday. Glad you're still in one piece. Me too. I had my hands full with one of the other evacuation camps. Not normally on the front lines, but at a time like that, everybody's gotta do their part. And of course, now I've got to tell any concerned citizens who show up asking about the invasion that the details are classified. Yeah, about that. 
how much did Faith let you in on? Oh, all of it. Faith always tells me everything. Got us the magic, huh? It's complicated. Oh, that it is. I guess you're one of the guys of magic again. Say hi for me. You seem pretty unfazed for someone who knows what's going on. I mean, we could be facing the end of the world here. Are you just gonna work through that? Town Hall doesn't give us much paid time off, so, uh, yeah. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough, Chet. <laughs> I, I do not get paid enough to give a shit about this. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm doing office work. It's not like I have a lot of, uh, a lot of energy to spare. Hey, Faith. Oh, you still seem kind of distressed. Do I? Honey, it's going to be okay. Clara and Melody have a plan, remember? I know, I know. I'm just trying my hardest to trust that it will work. I don't want any of my personal attachments to cloud my judgment. You've all come a very long way. But it's more than that. Even if you pull this off, I have no idea what will happen afterwards. Even setting Verena aside, Town Hall is not happy about how many unilateral decisions I've been making with my first big emergency. I mean, what choice did you have? It's not like the mayor has a contingency plan for facing the goddess of magic. I know, but still. Not to mention, I've got a mountain of paperwork to fill out, and a whole town that's still on edge, and I probably left my stub on, and... Okay, that does it. You're taking a break. I'll carry you out of here myself if I have to. Now's not a good time, dear. It's never gonna be a good time. Come on, let's go have some fun, just for the afternoon. Everyone else can keep an eye on things here. I know it's your job to look out for Green Ridge, but it's my job as your girlfriend to look out for you. And you're running on fumes. We have a beach day. Come on, you know you like seeing me in a swimsuit. Oh! Okay, then you're not playing fair. Very well, if you insist. Are you ready to head straight to the beach? Let's go! Yep, come on. Let's get you some R&R. &R. Ah. Salty air's gift for the soul. It really is. It's been too long since we did this. Sweetheart, we did this just last weekend. It's been a very very long week. Oh, I am feeling that all right. Wait, did we forget the food? I can head back to town and get it. Or I could just conjure something. That usually goes better than my attempts at cooking. No need. I'm going to catch us dinner. Right here. Barehanded, I presume. You know it. Ooh, dinner and a show? You really know how to treat a lady, Jody. Well, let's see. Surely there's a good fish around here. Fimsh! Fimsh! That one looks pretty decent. I could always try and find a bigger fish, though. Are there other fish? Ooh. Wow, look at the size of this one. Seems like a worthy challenge. Big axe fish. <laughs> I guess swordfish. <laughs> I get it. Um, just hit stat boost because we can. Need a hand? You know I'd never ta turn down a team up with THE Guardian of Green Ridge. Hey, Glottal! Welcome on by! Yeah, we're doing a, we're doing a little bit little bit of fishing. Uh, we didn't find a swordfish, but we found an axe fish. So we should be good unless we run into a lance fish, and then they have weapon type priority. Um, in which case, we may want to find a wyvern or pegasus fish. I think those uh, those those can beat those, as long as there are no bow fish that might take us down. All right, hold on. Let's taunt. And what is what is faith got? Multi barrier, she. That's what I mean. Good to get multi barrier. Over here, dummy. 
I hope your day is going pretty well, Galadal. I really appreciate it when you stop on by. Uh, crack the armor, and then attack. Oh yeah, this guy's... Fug. Mana bomb. Holy shit! Now that's some damage! Let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop another mana bomb. Now those are some numbers I like. Right on. Thanks for the help, sweetheart. Hey, I'll patch this up. You think that'll be enough fish? More, more! Why stop now, right? We're having fun fishing. So let's try to catch another. I think your definition of fishing is a bit broad, dear. But I certainly won't complain about another chance to team up with the great knight Jody Caldwell herself. I want to see if this. I, I do want to see if this one is a swordfish. Nope, it's another axe fish. Dang it! <laughs> Um, I feel like we just probably burn it down, honestly. You can't defeat us two on one! Ah, oh, it's not dealing as much damage. Ah, oh, because I didn't crack the armor. Of course, of course. My kingdom for a horse. Yeah, I feel like starfish, you know, they, they would have infinite, infinite skill usage. That could be very dangerous, you're right. Right on. Thanks for the help, sweetheart. Here, I'll patch us up. Well, that should be plenty. Let's get grilling. Hey, I've got an idea. You want me to give you some cooking pointers, right? Oh, I don't know if that's such a good idea, dear. No time like the present. But you've worked so hard to make this a nice day for me. I don't want to sour it by ruining the food. It'll be fine. I'll guide you step by step. If you make any mistakes, I'll be right here to help. Well, if you insist... Okay, it's on the grill. So far, so... <laughs> Alright, don't <laughs> panic. We've got more right... What the hell? Okay, I'll admit I'm a bad cook, but this is not normal. This must be the work of magic. This must be the work of an enemy stand. It's the grill one done well done or any meat that's being cooked, they can instantly render it into char, ruining a delicious meat. Maybe Java's tracked us here and is messing with us again. FaZe. But why limit it to him? Lord knows I've already made countless enemies as Guardian. Who knows how many of them could have put this kind of cooking curse on me as an act of revenge? FaZe. I'll probably have to go on a wild goose chase trying to track down whoever did this and... Faith! What? You're off the clock, remember? Forget about work. Sorry. Sorry. Don't worry about the food. It's my fault for pressuring you into it. Now, as we both know, I'm no magic expert, but... Claire says that magic is influenced by emotions. Do you think that maybe this stress could have caused the fires? <sighs> yes, probably. Come on, let's have a seat. I'm sorry, Jody. You dragged me out here to try and make me relax, but I don't know if that's going to work. You know how I am. I've been an overachiever ever since I was a kid. But now, 
I got what I was preparing for. But I'm not sure I know how to relax. Plus, I wanted to be guardian to help people, but it's mostly bureaucracy and countless hours spent dwelling on all the ways Green Rage could be wiped off the map. Oh, don't give me that look. What look? That look. The sad kitty look. I appreciate your attempts to pamper me, dear. I really do, but you don't have to try and be my therapist. It's not your job to manage the feelings of everyone around you. You're not just anyone to me, though, Face. You... Look, I know you're not happy with me right now. I don't blame you. But I want to make it right any way I can. What, for asking me to cook? Jody, you don't have to blame yourself. Not that. I mean, you know, the stuff with the guild. Oh, thanks, uh, Nashley, for the hydrate. Welcome on by. Is that what this is about? Jody, you don't have to blame yourself for the mess we're in. I certainly don't. I know you want to fix things, but guilt tripping yourself isn't the solution. I mean, yes, it's sweet that you want to make me feel better, but not if you're just making yourself feel worse. Your feelings matter just as much as everyone else's, Jody. Everyone else is going through so much worse than me right now, though. You need me to be your rock. That's my thing. You're not a rock, Jody. You can be hurt just like the rest of us. You don't have to be this unshakable guardian angel for me and everyone else to love you. You know that, right? We really are alike in so many ways. That's why we get each other so easily. But just like me, you put the weight of the world on your shoulders with no regard for yourself. Would it kill you to be a little selfish sometimes, you know? Wait, you're just distracting yourself by trying to help me with my problems now, aren't you? See? I told you we get each other, dear. You don't have to carry that weight alone, though. That's all I'm trying to remind you, this little trip. You gave Claire that speech about needing to accept help from others, but you could stand to do the same. You can delegate things more. You can trust our friends to take care of things, like I'm trying to do. There's strength in numbers, you know. Absolutely. Very well. I'll try to be better about trusting people, if you agree to work on blaming yourself for everything. Deal? Deal. Save your complex aside, you got a pretty good head on your shoulders, Jody. I can't believe you I ever let you go. I should have made you a paladin. Robbins would have hated working with the boss's girlfriend. Exactly. Her reaction would have been priceless. Do you ever think about what could have been, though? Maybe. But I'm glad we have what we have. I wouldn't trade this for the world. I love you, dear. I love you too, Faith. Now let's enjoy the rest of this afternoon. Because that's what Jody wants. And Jody deserves to get what she wants as much as I do. You want to watch me catch another fish? Oh, you know I'll never get tired of that. Aww. Faith's shield. Can that- OH SHIT! Team-wide shield ability. Oh, man. Oh, man. Everything is looking up for the squad now. Uh, alright, that's a target button. Who else? Hmm. Oh, I'm talking about the... <clears throat> um, I don't think... I think I already did the side quest for Higglides. Hi, Claire. Amorous Paladin training. Hi, Beaverly. This might sound weird, but, uh, well, you remember how you said you were kind of looking out for me and Allison? Because Melody's an amorous paladin, and her magic literally comes from her faith in the power of love? Of course! That kind of news is hard to forget! Well, I was wondering if you might help me help us with that. Oh, I'd be happy to, but what? Wait, no, oh no, you two didn't have a fight, did you? No, no, no. Well. 
Okay, we may have had a disagreement. We worked it out, though. Or, we're working it out. Don't worry about that. I just really need to make sure I'm the top of my game, magic-wise. I'd be honored to help. It is if you're actually sure you want to be this type of paladin. You also have an afternoon free. Definitely. Well then, I think the solution is obvious. You and Allison have been all work no play lately. That'll get to anyone. You need to go on a date. Not just any date. Leave the details to me. I'll set you up the most romantic date for the two of you. You know, that does sound like a nice change of pace. Never really got to finish that casual date we were on the other day before, well, everything. Yeah, that's perfect, Beaverly. Terrific. I'll make the necessary preparations. So... Ooh, candlelit picnic at night? Oh, wow. You've really outdone yourself, Beaverly. Yeah, this ambiance is super impressive, considering it's the middle of the day. Oinks Flare. It's an illusion spell I borrowed from her. Oh, wait, so it's not... <laughs> she's been teaching me a few spells, actually. Wow, you just started dating and she's already sharing her spells with you? That's how you know it's true love. Well, p please, ha have a seat. Wait, hold on. Judy, cue the music. Champagne. Ooh, fancy. Makes me wish we dressed up for this. I was going to suggest that, but Claire said... That you should probably be prepared for monsters. Just in case. <laughs> Since things are still weird out here. We're taking care of them, though. It's fine. I'm not sure I owned any clothes for a fancy date anyway. Me neither. Most of my favorite outfits are tailored more for punk shows than fine dining. Hell yeah! I'm also not sure I'd be able to tell good champagne from bad champagne. Well, I can get you something else if that would be preferable. Something non-alcoholic, maybe. Uh, just water's fine. Ditto. We probably got work to worry about after this. Right. I'll be right back with two waters. Ah. She can teleport? Well, I don't know about you, but being back here on another date has me in a nostalgic mood. Our first date was only a few months ago, but with everything that's happened this week, it feels like it's been a lot longer. I feel you there. It was a great night, though. Definitely one to remember. What was your favorite part? Spending time with you. <laughs> Just getting to spend time with you. That is so sad. It's the truth, though. I probably would have been happy any place you decided to take me. I'd never been on a date with anyone before. I was just so excited that it was happening at all. True, things were simpler back then. Simpler isn't always better though. We've had some rough patches lately, but I was also super nervous about trying to impress you back then. Oh god, me too. Really? For sure, I was totally afraid I was gonna blow it. We were both just overthinking it. It's not like we were starting over from square one. People always say your partner should be your best friend, right? And I still think of you as my best friend. We're just also dating now. Exactly. Hi! Sorry to keep you waiting. It's gonna be a bit longer, I'm afraid. Seems like a monster may have gotten into the cooler where we're keeping the drinks and... Do you need help with that? Yeah, the monsters around here are pretty low tier. It wouldn't be... Oh no! no. Claire and Jody have it under control. This is supposed to be your perfect night out, remember? Dave, don't worry about it. Just have a nice time for the sake of your amorous paladin magic. Wait, no, forget I said... I'm gonna check on them. Be back in a jiff. <laughs> and then the music comes back in. <laughs> Kinda hard to force having a nice time, huh? I think we already were, though. 
Now I'm just in the mood to reminisce. I think back sometime. Sometimes to that time in high school after I came out, when you and Faith took me to the thrift store to look for girlier clothes. I was completely mortified and worried that taking those first steps would complicate things. That me being trans would be an elephant in the room with all of my relationships. But you made me feel safe. That meant the world to me. It's still one of my happiest memories, I think. You've always been there for me. That's part of the reason why I wanted to be there for you, as the team's healer. You've always supported me too, though, Mel. Other kids picked on us in elementary school, so we had each other's backs. I always felt like I had to try really hard to impress other people, and it usually backfired. But around you, I could just be me. We make a good team. And thus, the most powerful alliance in the history of Green Ridge was born. Hey, speaking of jerks that we knew in high school, do you remember that guy Thad who liked to give us grief in middle school? Unfortunately, yeah. Whatever happened to him? Judging from his post, he's gone all in on some MLM pyramid scheme thing. He's hawking protein powder that claims it'll make you a Sigma male. Oh no! Oh no! Ha! Oh my god. What a dick. <laughs> Damn. He fell down the uh the Alex Jones boner pill pipeline. Poor bastard. Here we are. Cool waters. Now, about the main What was that noise? Oh, I'll be right back. Sit tight, lovebirds. This illusion is kind of messing with my head. It still feels like a warm summer day, even if it looks like nice time, night time. Yeah, I miss the snow up at Zinna's place. You were always more of a winter person. I wonder if Zinna would be cool with us crashing at her place for a little winter retreat. I've always wanted to try snowboarding. You and me, Allison, you and me. I keep meaning to try it out. And then winter passes and I haven't even done any of it. <laughs> Why don't we go now? Are you not feeling this day? I'm enjoying our chat, but everything else is kind of a disaster. I appreciate the effort our friends are going to, but it feels kind of forced. Anywhere else you'd like to go? The beach, maybe? Maybe, but I don't know. I've never been the biggest fan of the beach. Recent events also make the beach seem less appealing right now. Right. Sorry. Paperly, are you sure everything's okay? Yes, totally fine. Nothing's going to get in the way of your perfect date. It just seems like you're having a lot of trouble. I feel bad for putting you through all this. Okay, looks like it's time to pull out the big guns. You mean, the food? No, I must rate the food. Bring out the Cupid! Okay, it stretched it out. Stretch it out. <sighs> Welp. <laughs> so, so are we are we are we operating under Spider Man Spider Man rules where he can just like shoot a web up and like it, it's always attaching to something even if there shouldn't be anything there to attach it because uh, it's just kind of. Unless there's like a very super massive tree, and then they they put the rope all the way up there, and just kind of angled uh, Claire to come out here. Allison, you want to get out of here? Way ahead of you. Hold on. Are you sure? We can still salvage this. I really do appreciate everything you've done here, Beaverly. But I don't think we need to go through all this effort. We don't need the perfect date. We just enjoy each other's company. That's what makes a date special. Well done, Melody. And scene. Wait, 
Was this all staged just to teach us that lesson? Okay, no, it wasn't. It really did go wrong. But I wanted to try and turn in it. The fuck did I? What the fuck did I do in the middle of that sentence? But I wanted to try and turn it into a teachable moment, since you came to me for help with your training. And look, you two are getting along great. I'd say that's mission accomplished. I'd say so too. Thanks, Beaverly. No problem. Oh, and also, since my job's done here, I need to get something off my chest. You know Amorous Paladin sounds kind of horny, right? Oh, thank god, someone finally said it. <laughs> the word has multiple connotations. It is the same root word as enamored. Hello? Okay, okay. I see your point. Sorry, just wanted to clear that up. Okay, we're leaving now. Bye! <laughs> uh... That hit the spot. Yeah, this is more like it. It's nice to just have one hour of normalcy after all that's happened. You said it. Hey, since we have a moment alone, can we talk? We've been talking. I mean about, you know, what happened the other day. I know you said you'd deal with it later, and I respect that, but I still feel bad. I just don't want that fight hanging over our heads for the rest of our lives. Wow, already so sure you want to spend your whole life with me, huh? Uh, maybe. Although, admittedly, I'm still not sure whether or not the rest of our lives is going to be longer than a few days right now. Allison, it's okay, really. It was one fight. Honestly, it's probably good that we had it. You think so? I think before, I was worried that what we have is too good to be true. And that if I wasn't careful, I'd ruin it. We were walking on eggshells around each other, and it only made things worse. But, well, we got it off our chest, and we're still here. That makes sense. I don't know. Still got a lot of thoughts to sort out, I guess. I don't quite know how to word it. Me too. I don't expect either of us to be perfectly eloquent in circumstances like this. But I'll be there when your head's clearer. Likewise, Mel. Now, let's get back out there and save the world. Right. Verena awaits. Spread the love. Oh. Hold on, wait, what is... 60%... Ooh, ooh, we have our first full um, max energy. And this is very good because I often found her with a lot of star power so being able to charge someone up to drop a bunch of big hits is sweet i feel like that might be key to that one um mini boss that kept slagging me okay i need to save Um, who else? Maybe the magic shot? <clears throat> oh. Oh, uh, no. <clears throat> no. Yeah. And I'm guessing no, nothing new. Nope, nothing new. What about Pepper? That invasion was so much fun. I'm so glad I finally got to show off the way my special moves. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, Pep, but don't expect this to be a regular thing. Aww. Hey, you guys think you could ask those villains to attack her again so I can have another excuse to wet loose? Well, uh, well, think about it, Pepper. <laughs> about the old guy. You don't seem shaken by the recent events, Mr. Leone. What a phony baloney that a Russian was. Nobody even died. What for I care? Well, uh, that's one way to look at it, I guess. Please. I'm not gonna sugarcoat my opinions. I'm too old for that. These weirdos were all flesh and no substance. Back in my youth, I had both. And what was all the pink? A fire and brimstone not good enough for today's villains. Trust me. If you want to say real evil, just wait until my little pepper's all grown up. Well, I'm glad you're staying positive, Mr. Leone. 
Sounds like Pepper's gonna be the uh, post-game time skip. <laughs> Secret boss. <laughs> Question is, what do we do with the second hand staff? Hmm, what other NPCs are there to talk to? Um, maybe a library? Hey, so things got a little heated the other day when the town was under attack. Things have been said that perhaps could have been said in a better manner. First off, thanks for saving me, I appreciate it. Also, while Claire and I might not exactly get along, I do still want to work on your bestiary. Water under the bridge, Mona. I deserve the trash talking anyway. I just want to go back to filling out the entries for you to read in your quest log then. I do have to admit, when they're not complete nonsense, some of the monsters guys you have been fighting are pretty cool. I hope you find some more interesting ones out there. But the, you know, the interesting ones that don't give you too much trouble. Okay, so no quest from her. Still can't go back there. That's kind of weird. Claire and Jerry's place. Um, hmm. Where else could I check? It's over here. A wall. Right, the tent's painted. Gods, damn it! It tricks me again. Uh, I think it's that fortune teller, maybe. Wait, wasn't there a person in the shop? No, I could have sworn there was another merchant for some reason. Oh, perfect timing! I'm now offering a new service. With the help of my one-of-a-kind crystal ball, I can now point you in the direction of side quests. Okay, that... Okay. I'd like some advice on what I should do next. Hmm, let me see. Yes, here we go. With my infinite power, the crystal ball reveals what you must do. With the ability you now have, perhaps it's time to venture north of the Amber Woods through the Uncanny Valley. Make your way north through the valley. Yeah, 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 but I want side quests. The magician at the sanctuary may have some interesting leads. Sanctuary. Venture at the sanctuary. Oh, I think sanctuary as in the place that everyone hold up at. I didn't realize that was still around. I think that was down, left, up? No. <clears throat> Maybe more left. Hmm. I don't think this is the way to the sanctuary. Oh, they have like no health. We can just all attack. Absolute chumps. <clears throat> that's right, that's my house. Maybe it was left from town? You are basic enemies! Why do you keep running to your death? I would have let you live! You fools! Nope, that's the danger hole. Oh, where was that sanctuary? 
<clears throat> Maybe it's just straight west from Main Town? I could have sworn I came to it from below. Oh, I have maps, don't I? Um, hmm, these maps are not as helpful as I would have liked. Is it in the Amber Woods? No, because... Down there is that temple. Mm. The valley to the valley. That's the door I've opened. I feel like I'm gaslighting myself. I swear I've gone to the sanctuary before. Hmm. Well, at least the music's peaceful. We got that going for us. Alright, the hiking trail was... nothing. Ah, the old hoop snake. I wonder if we will find some more higher leveled enemies. You know, we've been seeing some uh, uh, more advanced versions. But I think the Hoop Snake and that Meow Shroom. I don't think we've seen any variants on them yet. bit of running around, but it's an RPG. You gotta do all the side quests before finishing it. It's pretty sure it's the law. I think I would get arrested if I skipped any of the side quests. Maybe I'm mixing the places up. Maybe it's that uh, park ranger person. Maybe that's the sanctuary. Well, thanks for trying, but it looks like the monster problem ain't gone away yet. What could have possibly riled them up so much? I ain't never seen anything like this. It's, uh, special circumstances. Special how? We've been asked by Faith not to say too much, but we're taking care of it. Well, I sure hope so. <laughs> Wouldn't stitch. You would stare at me judgmentally. <laughs> no, not the judgmental stare. Anything but that. side is getting a lot easier to sit here and game now that I remember to bloody get a haircut. I have a bad habit of letting my hair go way too long between haircuts. It's like, yeah, alright, I have my nice hair cut down so I can start practicing doing a pompadour. Kind of liking this. Oh no, it's getting a little, little long. Eh, I'll just kind of brush it over to the side. Oh no, now it's so long that it's I can't really even brush it to the side anymore. Oh, all oh, this is awful. Oh, I hate all of it. And then like a month later, oh hey, I can squeeze in a haircut. Let me let me make an appointment for that. Oh, 
Although, going from a long bit of hair to very shorter hair, it certainly kind of feels like transformative. So it is kind of nice. Cool, another work. West side. Hmm. I feel like one the one we fought one of the bosses there. Where was the sanctuary? Hmm. You know what? Do any of my quests mention it to jog my memory? Where's Battle Dream Ridge? Damn. Hmm. Terrifying. Not the big dust bunny. And it's rippling dusty muscles. Pretty sure I can still just auto attack for these. Nope, we just inflated the frog. Oh no! Oh no, it's getting bigger! Alright, it's dead. No bats like snow bats. Oh. Hey, here's a dungeon. Wait a minute, was that on my map? Oh, right. <clears throat> I don't think my maps are dynamic. Oh no, there it is. It's there on the map. Hmm. I'll save here just in case. You know what? Let's go head over to that. Bows. Let me buy, old man! You may be a powerful wizard, but your time has passed. Not the right way. Oh. I'm glad it didn't give me an option to throw an amount of money because we might have repeated Hollow Knight where I threw all my money in there, had no money, went to withdraw from the bank, bank was fake, and I was a poor, poor bug. There's the bridge. Alright, so let's take, let's take another stab at this guy now. We have some more levels and some more equipment.